What's up everybody, Retro Sigas here, back at y'all with a new video, and today's video is going to be on how to fix crack netting. Now you probably can't see any of this cracking from that distance, but yeah, let me show y'all the netting. Alright y'all, so here is a close-up on the netting. The netting here has actually already been re-glued. Um, right here in the middle they had some cracks and they already re-glued it, it's not coming apart anymore. But right here there is some cracking, hopefully I can see this. So it looks like normal, like a normal netting, well look, well look, once I press down on it, Voila, look, you see, and look, another a little another little piece just cracked right now when I press it down. Right there, it's just really weak. That little piece just cracked right there when I press it down. So I'm gonna have to also re-glue that. But um, as you can see, there's a crack in the netting, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to re-glue it. So let's get started. All right, y'all, so the glue you're gonna need is some Gorilla Super Glue. It's a little bottle with a blue top. You can find this anywhere at Target, Walmart, a hardware store, Home Depot, wherever y'all, wherever they sell glue, you'll most likely find this little Gorilla Glue. It's only like $5 or something like that, but this bottle does last a lot. I also use this glue for soul swaps and stuff like that, but today we're gonna be using it to restore this crack netting. So let's get into it. All right, y'all, so you're gonna go ahead and get your glue. And if the crack on the netting is really, really small, what you can do is use a Q-tip or a toothpick and apply the glue into there and then close it in. But I just use it straight out the bottle, straight out the nozzle on the top, but um, yeah, so all you're gonna simply do is get your glue and just place it in that area where it's cracked. Now don't pour, now don't put too much, just put a reasonable amount. All right, yeah, so that's about enough. Um, don't put too much, just put enough. And if you can, put the netting back in place together. Once you put the glue in between the areas that have been broken apart and just apply a little more on the top, just spread it out. You can always wipe this off afterwards. Um, just spread it out over, make sure it gets in the cracks. And also make sure you have like a little paper towel on the side to clean up the extra glue that you don't need. So there we go, I already applied the glue to the crack netting. Um, you're just gonna go ahead and let it sit there and dry. It shouldn't take too long. This glue does not take long to dry. It only takes about 30 seconds. But when but when it comes to the crack netting, it takes a lot longer for it to actually hold it in. So you're gonna have to wait longer than 30 seconds. I recommend just leaving it there for a while, for about an hour or two. And if you're worried about getting it under the netting, I haven't seen any real problems with that. Just don't apply too much glue. Just put a sufficient amount to close up the netting. All right, y'all, so I'm done re-gluing these. It's a very simple and easy process. All you pretty much do is just apply the glue in between the cracks, put them back into place, and this glue dries really quick, so for them to stick together shouldn't take long. All you have to do is just put the glue in between the areas where they're needed, put them back together, and just wait, and just wait. I'm gonna wait about an hour just to make sure this is all dried up. And like I said, just don't apply too much glue so that you don't have to worry about getting it behind the mesh. I haven't seen any real problems getting it under the netting or anything like that. So you shouldn't have any problems as long as you apply a sufficient amount and don't go too crazy with this glue, then you should be fine. If you have any excess glue stuck in the holes, all you have to do is just simply get a toothpick and just poke it out. I'm gonna go ahead and show you out right now. So here I got my toothpick and this little orange crap. I don't even know what the hell it is. Uh, yeah. So there's a little spot, you just can go ahead and just poke it out. And also for any other excess glue, you can use some nail polish remover and a Q-tip to rub it off. So just like that, you just rub it off. You take off all the excess glue that you don't want. It's very simple, y'all. Just rub it over the area and it's gone. So all right, y'all, so now we finished with gluing the netting that was once cracked. Now I can easily press it down without it cracking anymore. No more cracking, y'all, no more cracking. It's a very simple, easy process, doesn't take long. So thanks for watching this episode of Retro Snickers. Make sure to subscribe to my weekly sneaker videos. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment down below. And also go ahead and follow me on my Instagram where I post a bunch of dope sneaker pics. My Instagram is at Jose Reminis. I also announce when videos are coming out and stuff like that. I got a lot more dope content coming out. So make sure to subscribe to my weekly sneaker videos. And thanks for watching. Post a bunch of dope.